Good day, guys. Welcome once again to another weekly recap. We'll go over some traits, some setups we share with our community inside our Discord and inside our platform. Um, this week, this week was very good. I think we killed the market this week, and also um, throughout this video, we will know and um, you will see that sometimes less is more. What do I mean by that? We share a few setups this week. Uh, there were not that many as other uh, as other months or other weeks. Sorry. So, but the setups at least we share the setups we share during this week. They were high quality setups. We waited for high quality setups, and they paid out very good. They paid very, very good, and we will we will see. Let's check, for instance, our um, smart money trader. He shared, uh, for instance, this this trade on this instrument. All right, crude oil. It was a buy signal, buy entry. Um, this was one of the uh, setups we had to close because. Um, we are sure this can pay even more, but you know, uh, we just don't recommend to uh, leave open trades on weekends because you don't know what's going to happen. So we better close on week. Um, we better close our trades during the week, and we can have you know a uh, safe, <laughs> safe rest during the weekend without thinking what's going to happen if the market is going to open with a gap or or anything like that you know sometimes uh, weird things happen during during weekends so this was the trade this was a buy signal and uh, it actually paid very good and I'll sh you, you have here the whole description but I'll show you right now in, in our discord that it actually paid and we recommend it to close it before you know before the market closes this is how it looks and here it is here it is it actually can pay even more we are sure that the market will make another high but yeah we just don't recommend to let this trade run on the weekend so this is one of the trades he shared during this week it was a very nice trade very solid uh, movement to our take profit. Let's check another one. And we also have this one. This was this um this trade was shared last week, but we had to close it. We had to close it this week. Um it was a 202 pips if you see four risk reward ratio. We had a four hour on this trade and it um it hit our our um our full take profit. If you remember, last week we talked about a Nazi dollar pair, so it's basically the same, the same thing. It, it was basically the same idea behind, behind the trade. So this was another, another uh, winning trade for this week. And of course, there are there are more that we share inside inside our Discord. So if you would like to find out, or if you're interested in learning more. You can contact us on Instagram, or you can check, you can check um, our website, and you will find all the information in there. So this was another trade that we share on our Discord server. Let me also show you another trade, another trade using um, supply and demand, which paid very good. It was a very nice setup. Okay, we would like to start first saying that we also share. On a weekly basis, this um, this um, this analysis, we share a daily analysis, uh, so we can focus on some setups we are seeing uh, with potential entries, and actually we shared this one on Euro Aussie. You know, this was uh, this was shared on April 26, and we were seeing this pair on a bearish mode in the one hour time frame and you know the one hour supply area was um, was respected so uh, a few confirmations were given in terms of price action and this allow us to take the entry and actually the following day we we follow up on this one and we made over a hundred pips but let me show you how it was so here's where everything starts. Um, I was actually on my phone. I was not on my computer. I just 
uh, placed some alerts <laughs> and this was very close or I, I'm, I remember it was during the Asian session. I just don't like trading the Asian session but um, the setup was valid and we saw what we needed to see in terms of price action. It was on this pair, Euro Aussie. So this was the four hour supply level if you see it almost um, takes out my supply level but it didn't and we had we had here this demand zone and this is the this is the the, the, the five minute time frame this demand zone was not taken out um, I mean this demand zone was taken out all right and this was the level responsible of the of, of the move of the of the break so I sent the signal once uh, once my alert you know once my alert notified me that the price was already retracing and uh, after that if you see it was a 15 uh, pips uh, stop loss I, I also like to add some pips on my stop loss because of spread and commissions uh, it was a 15 pip stop loss so right here all right right here something happened and this is something that I that I always uh, reinforce that whenever we see our order blocks or our levels are taken out even by one pip even like this that is I think less than a pip I recommend to either close or move to break even why because this is not a good sign. This is not a good sign. However, um, a few minutes after our entry, our entry was filled, we had a fundamental event. We had a economic event, a major economic uh, event on the calendar, and this um, this event made this move, as you can see here. It dropped, then it um, it retraced a little bit, and then it ended up paying the full profit. So by now, I mean, uh, at that moment, I recommended, or well, at least I closed 80% of the trade and I just moved to break even the other, um, the the remaining uh, lot size and price retraced and then it paid the full amount. So we actually made, I think, one seven, one seven if I'm not mistaken we made one seven or one six oh here is one seven RR so that was a very nice trade a very good trade we love this this type of trades and yeah of course there was a loss there was a loss on euro euro pound this uh, we had a loss on euro pound let's see let me check where is it okay there it is this this was a loss and we were uh, following some other setups like this one, for instance. We were trying to see some reaction around it, any of these three areas, but the price just uh, move up and remove all the levels, so which is invalidated. But then we have we have this other trade on, uh, I mean, this other setup on Bitcoin, and we are close to take a trade on this one. We were monitoring this supply area, and the price, as you can see, was already reacting now let me give you a follow-up so this was our recommendation we were looking for sales I mean in the end um, in the end you are in charge of your account and if you and if you want to go aggressive which is something we just don't recommend but if you want to go aggressive if you are an aggressive trader you would have uh, gone short here and you will be you will be in profit at the moment but we were waiting in terms of price action we were waiting for um, for this low being removed and it was removed already so probably this is a setup we will follow up next week but we already have we already have this supply level and this other supply level here so this looks very similar as our Euro Aussie pair this week so it's just about learning the, the patterns um, spot the pattern look for the pattern and repeat the same process over and over and over again so this was our week guys this was our um, our week um, we hope you enjoyed this video we hope you learned something new and once again if you are interested in being part of our community you can contact us on Instagram and we will answer all your questions have a very nice weekend and we'll see you next week bye bye